Okay, guys, so excuse my lookingness. I just wrote to you. Um, but so I thought I was going to do an updated how to tack up your horse video because all the other ones I have, I kind of just ramble. And yeah, um, how to tack up your horse for barrel racing because I'm going to put swim boots on him today because he is, I am running barrels on him today. Um, so, of course, the normal thing that everyone should do is brush off and pick out your horse's feet and then if it's winter time or summertime summertime put last brown that's what i do and i already did that because that's always so time consuming so i already did that so the first thing you're going to want to get is your saddle pad um mine's a five star it has a wither cut out um I, i'll also show it to you guys so yeah So this is my style hat right here. It's a five star. I already said that. It's a five star. Wither cut out. I'm not too sure. I think it was. I think it's like an inch or an inch and a quarter or something. I don't even remember. So kind of just wanna throw it up there. Not like you know what I mean. And then make sure all the hairs out of it. I move it forward just a little bit. Because when you put the saddle on, it'll, sl it'll slide back a little bit. And then I just check, I go in like the middle of them to check to make sure both sides are like even. Okay. And then you'll grab your saddle. My phone fall down. Okay, this is my saddle. Just playing something like that. And then when you put the saddle on, you kind of want to make sure it's out of the way of the shoulder blade. Um, so then they get like full momentum, basically. Um, I know people are gonna get mad at me for this. I don't tack up from this side. I tack up from the other side because on. Oh my gosh, I can't think. On the right side. If you throw it over, you really have nothing. And if you throw it from the left side, you have your breast collar, your cinch, and your back cinch. And to me, it's just easier. So I'm gonna go do that. found a shoulder blade and it's not blocking it or anything. And then I let down all my cinches. And then I grab my breast collar. Put it over like this. And then of course you stick it through the deer ring that everyone knows. Um, I have a wither strap, but I still like to put it, like, it's too big for him on this saddle because the, this deering is so low, but I have a wither strap, but I still don't like to put it on the very first hole because when they run, it does stretch it out a little bit. Okay, and then I lift up the saddle pad just so it's not, like, on his withers, even though it's a clearance the wither clearance saddle pad. I still like to do that. Let me take your cinch. And then I like to have like a hand or like a good size gap, I guess you could say, with this. And then I'll push them over a little bit to show you. So you can kind of see the gap. It's you can't really see very well because we're in the shade. But that's that. Um, and then I kind of just like I don't tighten it up. I just leave it because it, I still have to put on his plump boots and then put his back cinch on. So, so let's see. I like to have it snug. This is good, but 
he's still losing some weight, so I do kind of like to have it a little dangly because he does bloat. So then I'll fix it when I'm out riding. That's what I do with all my cinches. And then this is my makeshift leather strap. And what the heck? Hold on. Messed up. Okay, and then I'll take it over. There, and then I'll hook the breast collar, and if I can find it, there. Okay, now you have like the main portion of the saddle done. So now I'm gonna grab his bell boots and his swim boots. Um, he necessarily doesn't need bell boots, but I like to put bell boots on him. Whoa. Because um, he has shoes on, and I don't want like him to clip it by accident. Like he never overreaches, but I just don't want him to clip his shoe off and then get it loosened up or whatever so I'm gonna go grab those okay you can't see me but these are my bell boots and spin boots so these are just no turn classic equine bell boots and I always put my bell boots on first so I just go like this and of course he's gonna move so I, there's his bell boots there's a glare I'm sorry the sun is not cooperating with me today Let me just that on and then of course blind boots um i have professional choice i probably already said that this is his left and this is his right and then here. don't move bud please don't move for that i just kind of go down his leg i feel like i'm getting my right and left Oh yes, excuse my Crocs. It's very hot out and being in boots is just a little hot for me. And I always double check, do it again, just to make sure it is secure. And then, oops, what's that? And then you go do the other side. Don't do that, guys. I just know my horse and I know he's not gonna kick me. And if it did, that's my fault, so. So then you just basically do the same thing with the other side. Okay. And again, I just like to double check all the straps to make sure none of it are gonna come loose when I'm riding. Ow. Okay. Now for the bridle. Okay. Um, I think the last time I did this, he was ridden in a bit and I think he had his tie down on. Um, so much has changed, he's not ridden in a bit anymore and he does not ride a tie down anymore. So yeah, but before you put, Oh my gosh, it's hot. Before you put the bridle on, make sure you check your cinch. Um, I use, so right now he's bloated. Uh, so I just pull up until I see a hole and then I take the little knob thing and put that in there. And like I said, he bloats. So when I'm riding, then I'll change it to the Texas T. And the Texas T is on my channel, how to do that. Um, so yeah. So what I just do, normal people, they put it around their neck. I don't do that. I trust him and see like it's not going anywhere because his nose is up against that. So this is his bridle. It's just a gym warner, half more. And then I just do this. And I sometimes hold the reins over my arms sometimes I don't and that's really what I do um so this video was really bad I'm sorry it's just the glare and I know that his bridle is very far back on his neck and life is just not I always put it back right now. not that um, far but farther 
because uh, it, it doesn't have a brow band to keep it from sliding so forward and I always do that so it doesn't slide forward and hit his eyes. How to tack up for barrels on YouTube, I know for a fact. Um, so, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and bye. Thanks for watching.